20 Surprising Theories That Offer An Alternative Take On History Even when you think you know everything there is to know about history, there's always another side to the story. After all, the past is largely only available to us through the recorded accounts of those alive at the time, and those documents may not always be as truthful as we might at first assume. It's no wonder then that so many mind-blowing alternative historical theories have arisen. Prepare to have your world rocked. Number 20. The Titanic Didn't Really Sink In fact, so the theory goes, it was actually the Titanic's sister ship, Olympic, which sank in 1912. According to Robin Gardner, the Olympic had been damaged in 1911, so in order to recoup some insurance money on it, the ship's owners swapped it with the Titanic and planned for it to sink, but slowly enough that lifeboats could rescue everyone on board. Instead, 1,500 people died when the ship struck an iceberg. Number 19. Or if it did, it was on purpose. Another theory surrounding the sinking of the Titanic, and there are many, posits that financier JP Morgan had the ship sunk intentionally in order to purge those opposed to the Federal Reserve Bank's creation. Indeed, at least three notable men hostile to the idea died in the Titanic, and Morgan himself canceled his booking at the last minute. Number 18. Elizabeth I was actually a boy in drag According to an American writer, Steve Barry, the real Elizabeth Tudor died when she was around 10 years old after falling sick while escaping an outbreak of the plague. Her minders, fearing execution, dressed a boy from a local village in her clothes and fooled even her father, King Henry VIII, in a charade that lasted all of her life. Supposedly, the Virgin Queen never married because she was actually a man. Number 17. The Great Sphinx wasn't built by the ancient Egyptians. Instead, it was just restored by them. According to a tablet discovered in Giza, the inventory Stella notes that Khufu, the pharaoh on whom the Sphinx is thought to be based, restored the statue all covered in painting. Indeed, Gaston Maspero, a French Egyptologist, suggested that by the time of the pharaohs, the Sphinx had already been buried in sand and therefore built by an even older civilization. Number 16. Roosevelt Provoked Japan's Attack on Pearl Harbor During the Second World War, U.S. President Franklin D. Roosevelt was looking for an excuse to declare war on the Axis forces, at least according to political economist Robert Higgs. Indeed, he writes that Roosevelt attempted to first bait Hitler into attacking the U.S. When that failed, he instead brought economic sanctions down on Japan, fully aware their retaliation would include attacking Pearl Harbor. Number 15. Otto III Fabricated a 300-Year Gap in History So goes the phantom time hypothesis devised in 1991 by Herbert Illig. According to Illig, Roman Emperor Otto III conspired with Pope Sylvester II, potentially with the help of Byzantine Emperor Constantine VII, to fast-forward the AD calendar by 297 years, from 614 to 911. Why? partly to legitimize Otto's position, but also just because they fancied being around in the year 1000. Number 14. Michael Jackson Faked His Death and Fled to Bahrain When a much-loved celebrity passes away, you often find people clinging to whatever evidence they can find to prove that he or she is not really dead. Such is the case with Michael Jackson, who many believe is still alive to this day, despite apparently dying in 2009. Adherent cite factors like a suspicious mortuary photo of Jackson and a supposed plan to escape the furor surrounding his 2005 sex trial by fleeing to Bahrain. Number 13. The 2004 Tsunami Was Caused By U.S. Nuclear Testing The tsunami that shattered Southeast Asia in 2004 was as serious as it gets for natural disasters. Indeed, it's considered to be the tenth worst of all time and was also the fourth largest earthquake of the past century. 
and some people believe it was actually orchestrated by US scientists testing nukes underground a theory alas unsupported by any real evidence number 12 Paul McCartney died in 1966 and was replaced by a look-alike back in 1969 a series of articles published by American college students alleged that Beatles member had actually died three years prior and the man pretending to be him was actually a look-alike supposedly much of the band's art and lyrics contains clues to the truth like the Abbey Road album cover which is said to denote a funeral procession number 11 Shakespeare's plays were actually written by several different authors with a paucity of available information on Shakespeare it's no wonder some reckon his plays weren't actually written by him at all indeed from Earl of Oxford Edward de Vere to essayist and philosopher Sir Francis Bacon there are plenty of theorized candidates for the true author or authors of the Bard's work number 10 AIDS was created by the CIA this Cold War era conspiracy theory originated at a time when the Soviet Union and the US were known to bandy about crazy biological warfare accusations however there are still those who believe it to this day indeed the notion that the CIA was behind this AIDS crisis took hold thanks to the USSR's use of East German doctors to give it credibility number nine the Twin Towers were felled by controlled demolition the tragedy of September 11th was a breeding ground for conspiracies many of which are still propagated one of the most common suggests that the towers weren't actually brought down by the planes that crashed into them but by controlled explosions inside the two buildings devotees point to the structures almost instant collapse and the sounds of explosions reported by witnesses number eight William Shakespeare was an English spy some theorists claim not only was Shakespeare apparently not responsible for his plays he was actually an English spy by the name of Francis Garland the diaries of mathematician John Dee make extended references to Garland's services as a spy but there's no evidence he ever existed leading some to believe he was a pseudonym for Shakespeare number seven Princess Diana was murdered by MI6 following the death of Princess Diana in 1997 Mohammed Al Fayed father of Dodi Diana's boyfriend who also died in the same car crash that killed her made scores of conspiracy claims that she'd been murdered one such claim involved the use of another car a white Fiat Uno which he claimed forced Diana's car to crash number six multiple gunmen were responsible for JFK's assassination despite the Warren Commission concluding that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone in assassinating John F Kennedy on November 22 1963 there are still those who suggest the 35th US president was killed by more than one person indeed the number of bullets fired has led many to suggest a second gunman was present on a nearby grassy knoll number five NASA faked the moon landings the 1969 moon landings have long been held in scorn by conspiracy theorists who claim that NASA faked them in order to win the space race evidence like Buzz Aldrin's American flag waving in wind that wouldn't exist in a vacuum is popular among such theorists who assert that NASA filmed the moon landings on a secret set possibly with the help of film director Stanley Kubrick number four Aleister Crowley was a secret agent for the British Empire the man who proclaimed himself as the great beast 666 may have been more than just the wickedest man in the world as the media branded him in fact some claim that the occultist painter and poet was actually a British spy Crowley himself even referred to his work for British intelligence agencies in his writing number three the sinking of the Lusitania in 1915 was a British plot just three years after the Titanic sunk her rival ship RMS Lusitania endured the same appalling end instead of an iceberg however it was a German u-boat that had determined Lusitania's fate or so the story goes indeed many theorists suggest that she was actually sunk by the British to bring the US into the war the theorists point to the speed she went down just 18 minutes and explosions heard aboard by survivors number two Jack the Ripper never actually existed according to some Victorian serial killer Jack the Ripper was actually entirely imagined by the press at the time they claim that the murders attributed to him were just another five random killings no different from so many others back then this area of East London was known for its squalor and high crime rate number one Van Gogh didn't kill himself 
it's well known that artist Vincent van Gogh committed suicide at the age of 37 However, a pair of biographers have recently disputed this indeed in 2011 They alleged that van Gogh was killed accidentally by two boys playing with a malfunctioning gun But decided to take the blame himself in order to protect them Please share this video with your friends below